morning, good morning. Welcome to 4x8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. Look what I have. I have Vietnamese money. Ooh, ooh it's pretty. Um, day one in our Mocha journal, our Missouri, California trip in March. Sorry I took yesterday off. Not really, but yes. I had not one ounce of concentration. It's just because I'm getting ready to go on this gigantic trip. Um, I feel a little bit disorganized. I want to get this trip documented at least thoroughly in my Hobonichi and possibly in a journal. Um, I'm making stuff. I have trips from, I mean, stuff from previous trips that I can add. I lost a title yesterday. I still can't find it, but I found my punches. I found my punches. That's good. Um, I just thought of another place to look. It's not there. My title is going to be Mocha, M-O-C-A. Missouri is M-O-C-A is California, and that's where I was. In case you don't know, I just came back from a trip. Um, I was going to, oh, this is my Halloween one. <laughs> I was going to put some stickers in here so that I had them all in one place. I haven't done that yet. I finished, not finished tackled a huge amount of treasures in this room and got it straightened out quite a bit that I could work better. Um, it's not complete, but it's better. It's way better. Um, I found my punches. Did I say that already? I still cannot find that stupid title. I'd already printed it and cut it out. Because I tried to do this video four times yesterday, and none of it was working. I'm like, you know what? I'm just not going to... I was just bouncing off the walls. Like, I'm not going to put this pressure on myself. It's just paper. <laughs> so I skipped a day yesterday. And while I'm talking to you, I'm still looking for that stupid title. I put it someplace so it wouldn't get wrinkled or thrown away on accident. And apparently it is very safe because I can't find it. I also have a board on my table, which is eliminating some of the squeak. How about that? Look at me. So I think I'm just going to go fast forward now and make some progress. Oh, I did separate. Here's my stamps. Here's the book. I started to use this. It's a half, um, a half um, traveler's notebook, what they call half. So it's for small trips, which it was. Um, and I put a piece of my paper on top of it. And then Mocha was written in this per teal -y color vertically. But darned if I can find it. Here's my book with my notes, which I took quite a few. Oh, I tried to do a Van Gogh painting. in like two minutes but um anyhow so i have things separated these are stickers handmade or store-bought or photos which actually i think i have another photo no so i separated everything because i'm like i can't find half of what i'm looking for this is all uh sticker stickers that that are packaged these probably should go in here. I got these at Daiso while I was out there. Um, I have some. There's another. The um, these are all stickers. I could put these stickers in here. Anyhow, okay. Well, these are like handmade stickers. These are store bought stickers. These are letters, fonts, and words. These are journaling cards that I could use for tip-ins. This is the ephemera, which I will carry something like this to Vietnam too. And just stuff everything in here and then whittle it out close to the end and then whittle it out when I get home. So I, I've got, I'm a little bit more organized than I was for sure. I found this, this is old. I bought this in on one of my Missouri trips, my quilting trips when I was still doing the driving and not flying. But 
that's fun. Anyhow, okay, so we're going to go fast forward. I have some stencils here for the state, for the country. Uh, there's another one in here somewhere for Missouri. Um, so here we go. Okay, I just got back from the bank with my dongs. And I talked to my friend that I'm going with, and we have solidified some more stuff. I got my parasite medicine and I thought I had my camera on. So I didn't, I changed my traveler's notebook, but I did put what was on the cover on the old one. This is one from Studio Calico, I think. Some generic one, it's not Studio Calico, but it's just black and white stripes, but I thought it was kind of cool with the color. So I changed it. Um, and now I'm going through some old paper choices might be from Allie Edwards and from uh, Freckled Fawn for a while I got their kits Traveler's Notebook kits I love this orange but I'm trying to figure out some of the papers I can use pretty much I can use, oh I like that green dot just kind of looking looking for peppy patterns not necessarily this or this but these kind Graphic, graphic, that's what I'm, the word I'm looking for. And these two could go together. These two go together. And these two go together. So I'm, I'm gonna put this in my kit of all the stuff I have separated here. And I also, that's an extra one. I also went through and kind of put post-its everywhere. This will be a title page. This will be an intro page. This will be a travel page to Missouri. This will be all my quilting stuff and this one. Two pages of quilting stuff. Another travel page and the debacles that happened. Um, Sacramento and that debacle. <laughs> Sorry. Van Gogh, which happened Saturday morning. And then the visit with my sister, which I probably will include here and Daiso and stuff like that. And then even though Van Gogh happened first, I'm, I'm going to, the order doesn't kill me if I don't do it right. This was the 27th. And it was a gorgeous drive on the back roads and seeing snow and the route I took. I might take it for all this because this is a, a route I've never been on before. And then my friend's house and what some of the stuff we did. I saw James Burke do this in his Paris and London trip journal. And I just kind of put some of the words that we came across into one of the little text boxes that I used for my aquatic archaeologist and it's on sticker paper so I can put it someplace and then just some notes about her kids and her mom and hummingbirds and the weather um which rained and food and the crepes the magic crepes that we had two mornings in a row and then one day we took took a trip to the American River and those are poppies California poppies and bookstores and it rained um and how full the rivers are. And the American River uh, was where they discovered gold in 1848. And we used to go camping, not in this area, but on that river a lot. And then I might just put some extra ephemera in the back. And I, so I have an extra page here allowed in case. And then the travel home, which was very anticlimactic. And then I think I might put another one when my suitcase, my, um, box from Missouri finally arrived two weeks later. <laughs> but I also will go back on to um, Instagram now and kind of make sure I have everything I want to put in here. And then I think I'm going to start putting down some paper or tip-ins. I'm going to use a lot of tip-ins. I have stamps, sewing machine stamps, Travel stamps, text box stamps, um, 
I also have started making kind of like my own text spots, like a like as if it were a swatch of paint instead of putting paint in here. I just do it on Procreate and then I can write on that. Um, I have made my own stickers, printed some printables. Um, so I'm down to this amount. I also have, um, oh, where's that envelope? I had to separate everything. I think I already told you that. Oh yeah. I knew I had more stuff. <laughs> like this is not very much. But in the travel sections, I'm going to put like outlines of the states, which I have stencils for somewhere. I have a couple of Ali Edwards um, text box things. Here are my stencils. I have a Missouri one someplace. And I also have journaling cards from Allie Edwards, just in case. I don't have to necessarily use these, but like I pulled the March one aside from last year's March story kit. This would be great in the quilting area. Um, this would be great in quilting. Enjoying, like enjoying my friend's visit, enjoying my sister's visit. This happened, March stuff. I just kept all this March stuff from a March kit. I still had it. Um, some of these I can cut apart possibly, like use that as a border. Oh, I also had Van Gogh. I need to put these in here. These are Van Gogh postcards that I got at the Van Gogh exhibit. And those need to go in here. Anyhow, but what I'm looking for is the... I think I'm going to stick all of these possible cards that I want to use paper in here. But somewhere is a Missouri stencil. Where is it? I thought I had already pulled it aside. Hmm. I still can't find my title. I also have stuff from previous trips. And food wrappers and airline. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Good. Okay. So I think that on the first or well, the second or third page, I'm going to outline the states as a background. And I might actually do it on two journaling spots. I was going to put a map in here, but kind of have pulled away from that. I love this one. But unfortunately, when you put it together... You can't do it like that, or, or I guess you could. But no matter how you put it, it's going to be the other direction. I guess you could do it like that. Um, so do I want to use map paper? I mean, I have tons of it want this to be bright and perky because it was a bright trip except for the rain and a fun trip I think I'm going to use these two I'm just going to go for it so I need this 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 I'll use these titles in a minute move all this up but I had to I have so much stuff here I had to kind of Categorize it, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. So let's put this in Van Gogh. And kind of... 
keep a clip on here so theoretically stuff doesn't fall out. Theoretically. Somewhere in here is that title. I still can't find it. I stuck it someplace so it would be safe. And it's safe all right. I can't find it. That happens to me all the time. All right, so now I'm gonna go fast forward. We are 15 minutes into a 20 minute video and I haven't even started. Anyhow, I have a little bit more organization, all of that to say I have a little bit more organization, a little bit more of an idea. And I am going to do this, but it's all gonna be rudimentary stuff I've done before. Um, but I still love watching these kind of process videos. In fact, I watched some of my favorite people over and over again do this. I can't tell you how many times I've watched Amy Tangerine's videos, early videos of her journaling, especially in a traveler's notebook size. Um, so I have stencils of all the United States, and I just um, outlined uh, Missouri, California, and I can't find South Carolina. I've used it someplace and put it someplace. And I'm just using those on the cover of some tip-ins um, of the actual beginning travel page that says, you know, I went from here to here to here to here to here to here. And I had a lot of issues in airports. <laughs> so that's what this basically is. Um, and I kind of tried to overlap the states and kind of ge geography, geographically put in where I was, the cities closest to where I was. Um, and I was going to put an airplane on here, but then I decided that airplane was too big. So I went in and got, that's the one I decided was too big. So I went in and got the tiny little Kelly Perky stamps that um, have a lot of uh, travel things in them. And I put these little tiny airplanes on. And I kind of just wanted it to be, these are going to be tip-ins on the outside of the first spread. And they actually look very sloppy and, ha and hazy on this camera, but they're not in real life. Um... Otherwise, I would have been mad. So then I went to looking for travel washi tape. Now, I have a ton of travel washi tape. But I was kind of looking for something green, something travel, something airline related. And lo and behold, I have all kinds of different planes on this washi tape. And it has a green, an overall green effect. So I was thrilled with that. So I'm, I'm using it to put um, hinges my, for my tip ends on the inside of this uh, first spread here. But lo and behold, this paper is wider than my book. So I had to trim it down a little bit, but that's okay. So then I went in and um, I'm, I'm making notes to myself. Um, I went in and cut a lot of things that I had printed from printables that I purchased, um, stamps that I made, things I've done on um, uh, Procreate, those stamps right there are from 2005 that I've had forever that are travel stamps. And I finally used the last two and threw the last one away because it's of like, oh, it's an escalator. I'm like, okay, no, 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 don't want that. Punched out a couple uh, Allie Edwards things that uh, pertain to this. And, and then I'm going to make clusters. Now, I kind of think this will be my thought process through most of this journal clusters and weaving them around the page a little bit and um and when I mean clusters not really tight clusters kind of loosey flowy clusters does that make sense I don't know um and then journal around it but uh, my journaling is going to be done on the computer um my writing is I don't like my writing and I can use pretty fonts and things like that to spice it up a little bit and put color behind it um and just print it like that so that's what I'm going to do. So these are stickers, um, printables that I got off of um, Etsy. And I ended up um, cutting a bunch of those apart. And they kind of have an overall color theme. And uh, putting, but it, it didn't have to be necessarily color coded. Because I'm using photograph stickers and different things. And those little state stickers. Um, I was trying to draw Missouri because I've already used this Missouri but then I remembered I had yesterday when I was trying to film this video, um, all these little pictures of states. <clears throat> so I have that and I'm going to go ahead and outline that with a pen. Then I have little circle stamps that I've made of my own with watercolors. And I stamped the airplane again on here and just kind of making like trails 
from the airplane. And then my wording will go on top of the empty spots. But, you know, it may overlap some of these trails of the planes. That's okay. That's okay. So that first spread done in my mocha journal. And I also want to keep track of the weather and the day. So that needs to happen here too. And I love it. Love it. Um, that's probably going to be the overall theme of the entire journal. Uh, flowy clusters and journaling with a little bit of stuff spread around. So love it. Love it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.